Alright, let's get this. There we go. So what I wanted to do is look at these, uh... These, uh, old issues of, uh... There were a couple of issues of EGM that had these, uh, these inserts. These 16-page inserts that, uh, that came with some stuff about the Neo Geo. And I thought this stuff was, was really cool at the time. Actually, hold on. Let me, uh, crop this a little more. There we go. Sorry about that. They basically, uh, they showed a lot of stuff about the, uh, about the Neo Geo games, and there's some... There's some funny things in here that I wanted to uh, I wanted to point out. The Neo Geo, it's bigger, better, and better. That was their their slogan for a while. Oh, I don't want to play the boss music. Get out of here. There we go. So let's uh, have to zoom in a bit. Oop. Okay, I got to get these uh, these controls right. Oh man, look at that! Look at that home system. Neo Geo, it's the real deal. It's got a, it's got an eight-way joystick. Awesome, 330 meg capability. Contoured four buttons, simultaneous firing controller, memory card access, stereo volume, volume slide control, and stereo headphone jack. So, the ultimate question for any mega gamer: What is the most advanced home system on the market? Well, I would like to settle this once and for all. So, take a look at the facts. Everyone seems to be talking about the new 32-bit processors and the 64-bit system. So the 32-bit processor is not exactly new, and the 64-bit system is yet to be seen. It's been said many times that to release a true blue 32-bit processor... True blue, really? 32-bit processor to an NTSC standard television, regular television, it'd be a waste of time and a waste of money. It would literally have to include a special monitor with all 32-bit and 64-bit systems. What the fuck are you talking about? To show all of you who doubt SNK Home Entertainment Incorporated, oh, it's in all caps, SNK Home Entertainment Incorporated, and Neo Geo, that single 32-bit processor would cost more than the Neo Geo system. Let's see, a processor can process information all day long, but without the proper chips to assist it, it's not going to look any better than an 8-bit or 16-bit processor. Yeah, who the fuck knew what an FM Towns was at the time? What the fuck? The cost of making the system, the support chips, the design, and the cost of the circuit boards, Plus a special monitor? That's higher than the nation's trade deficit. Uh, citation needed? Now, CD-ROM is the way of the future. Although this technology may be something to get excited about, it has yet to be perfected for video game use. The access time or lag time is the downfall of the CD games. And that's that's kind of true. Remember, this is in this is in '92. This is around the time of these uh, these games that came out. So, you know, the TurboGrafx-16 did have a have its CD add-on at this point. And Nintendo and Sega are both currently in the process of developing CD-ROM for their 16-bit systems. Yeah, I remember the Nintendo CD. Nintendo Nintendo will have two different CD-ROM systems, and they won't even be compatible with one another. The Sega CD-ROM is planned for release sometime in the future, even with the new 16-bit processor. Processor. The hardware design hampers the... Whoa. We'll look at that later. The CD-ROM. Actually, let's look at this now. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like the, uh, the, uh, the 32-bit facts, uh, processor, possible, retail price, $5 per K, what, what, what are you even talking about? But yeah, you can see all the stats, I mean, Neo Geo's got a better processor, more sound channels, more colors, more sprites, yeah, Neo Geo. But... Apparently, Mega Drive CD-ROM has unlimited sprite size. That could be a problem. Anyway. Sega enthusiasts boast the CD memory capabilities. Wow! Incredible! Big deal! It takes them close to a year to program a 4 megabit game. How long will it take them to program anything with memory that even resembles that of the Neo Geo? Keep in mind that CD is capable of fast storage capacity and both Sega and Nintendo will only be utilizing approximately 20% of its full memory capability. I, I don't think that's really how it works. Like, just because you have more storage space doesn't mean the uh, development time, like, necessarily goes up. You're not spending one year for every four megabits. But uh, it still doesn't compare to the Neo Geo's 4,096 simultaneously displayed colors, 380 sprites, and full-screen multi-layers. 
anyone who knows CD-ROM knows that any access time, time it takes while loading, is an eternity of waiting compared with Neo Geo's zero access time. Unlike Sega and Nintendo, we don't make you buy add-ons to get quality games. They have come to the edge of their limit, and to try to compete with Neo Geo would mean buying yet another add-on. 65,536 colors, 4,096 simultaneously displayed at one time, 15 stereo soundtracks, 380 sprites, and multi-layer screens that fill the entire screen. All this instantaneous memory access, omnidirectional scrolling and rotation, enlarging and shrinking, and fade, and scaling. This entire 330 mega megabyte package, megabit package of power comes in one complete set, and you will never have to buy add-ons or a monitor to compete with the other guys. For the record, what is the most advanced video game system in the world? Neo Geo, a professional arcade system with the same hardware found in our number one selling multi-video system, is the only answer for any mega gamer. A friend of mine once said, Neo Geo is bigger, badder, better, and I say, bold. Neo Geo is the real deal. So, uh, who wrote this again? They don't really, uh, they don't really say. Right. So the Game Lord was this guy who worked at uh, SNK USA named uh, Chad Okada. And he's got some uh, he's got some things to say here. He's a legend. To put it in words, to write it down, that is walking on hollow ground, but it is my duty. I am the Game Lord. I like the, uh, the Game Lord's logo, by the way. And one of my specialties is to say that things that cause havoc, debates, and arguments. In the last episode of The Game Lord Speaks... Okay, wait. There, where, 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 where's the first episode of The Game Lord Speaks? Because this is the first insert that was, like, included. Like, I guess they mailed it out to, like, Neo Geo owners or something? I don't know. I made a statement about our memory capability and it's, been go it's gotten blown way out of proportion. Michael Baldi on informing that people on World Debt and Prodigy <laughs> are debating that issue. Oh my god, I just fucking turned to dust hearing that. And I can honestly say that half of them didn't believe the Immortal Game Lord. It's really quite shocking, but it doesn't matter because Neo Geo obviously has the best graphics and sound of all systems. Cross Swords is visually one of the strongest games around. Any computer artist or programmer can tell you, we don't cut any corner when it comes down to it. One question that many people ask me, will Neo Geo come out with a handheld? Hmm, that's a good question. SNK will not release a, uh, why did this, uh, this reset? Hold on. This playlist is all fucked up. There we go. Uh, SNK will not release a portable system like the Neo Geo Advanced Home Entertainment System. SNK is not going to release any handhelds, alright? You see, when a video game company starts making handhelds, that means they got to split up their workforce. Instead of having the whole research and development staff working just on their home system, developing more games for it. Some of the programmers have to develop handheld software. Well, yeah. When our competitors release an 8-bit system, a 16-bit system, a CD-ROM, and a handheld, and have to write software for each system, that could get ugly. That's not the style of Neo Geo. Therefore, we will not release a handheld. Our 12 third-party companies and SNK's 300 programmers, strong research and development staff, will never worry about handhelds and can concentrate on the only professional video game system on Earth. How many times do you hear Nintendo or Sega claiming arcade quality graphics? What happens when you buy their game and the graphics, the sound is even worse, are not even close to arcade games? Aren't you tired of it all? Finally, one system with everything you want from a video game system, the Neo Geo is here. The only true professional arcade hardware and software. Sounds like it could be an advertisement, don't you think? <laughs> oh really, Adam? Holy shit. Damn, what a missed opportunity. How could they not tell you that? Uh, wait, 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 what's this say? People think that Chad and I downplay the Sega Nintendo. Wait, I thought Chad was speaking here. I thought he was the Game Lord. Like, what? What? But don't get us wrong, we like Sega Nintendo. See for yourselves, though, because when you want the best game system in the world, quality is what you expect and get from SNK Home Entertainment Incorporated. And there are some screenshots here. I want to point out this Fatal Fury screenshot. Uh, this is like some beta shit right here. Like, there's people missing in the background. I think, like, Michael Max doesn't wear blue pants, does he? And there's, like, some, some debug stuff up here. 
This is like footage of a of a prototype version of Fatal Fury, and there's no there's no uh, prototype dumps of this, so that's that's pretty wild. Oh yeah, they only shaded one leg. <laughs> this is the only leg that spent any time in the sun. Like the Terry sprite looks the same, but yeah, I guess they didn't really uh, they didn't really finish Michael here. Wild stuff. I think there's another another prototype screenshot later. Anyway, next page. Oh, we got some stuff about the uh, the multi-link feature. One thing that the handhelds have that most home video game systems lack is what we call the multi-link feature. So we talked about the multi-link a little bit with Riding Hero, League Bowling, and Thrash Rally. Both systems run parallel, and each player is playing interactively in the game. Neo Geo Multi-Link... Do they show the... They don't show the cartridge. Multi-Link cartridges have a port where the Multi-Link cable is plugged into, and, and instead of making you buy a special cable from SNK, you can use a standard Phono Jack to Phono Jack connection cable for the Multi-Link cable. Well, that was nice of them. So yeah, I like this this part right here. Uh, Multi-Link will add new dimensions to gaming and bring a whole new meaning to the world's... the words two-player simultaneous gameplay. In the arcades, games like Cyberball 2072, Final Lap, Kadash, Steel Talons, and Chicago's Battle Tech Center, everybody knows that, have incorporated the multi-link feature into their games. I like this part. Cyberball 2072 shows how we can make a football game, vertical scrolling that hides plays, always gives us a good perspective. I hate playing defense going down the screen. And is the best four-player football game ever. Okay, fair enough. Cyberball is pretty cool. Uh... But then you guys made Football Frenzy, and it didn't have a link cable, and the other player can see your plays. All the shit you just talked about. <laughs> they didn't use that knowledge to make a good football game. The other games show that simulator racing, helicopter, mech warrior, and jet plane games can only be played more than one player simultaneous with a multi-link clap. With a multi-link action. Our writing hero, 42 megs, is a great example of this, although League Bowling's 26 megs... Multi-link is purely used for four-player simultaneous play. At least everyone knows that we have that capability. What? The Neo Geo Advance, yeah, more, more jargon here. We will have multi-link games with play fields as large as life. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You can also be sure that because our, of our processor speed and number of sprites, our four-player simultaneous games won't flicker and slow down as much as the other guys. Yeah, about that. Last Resort uh, wasn't even was a one-player game and kind of had a lot of flicker and slowdown. All in all, with the power of the Neo Geo and multi-link capability, the future can only look bright for the only true professional video game system. Neo Geo is the real deal. Uh, thing is, they only made one more multi-link game after this, which was Thrash Rally, which was another racing game like Riding Hero. So they they kind of dumped the uh, the multi-link cable really fast, huh? They kind of. I kind of forgot about that. I mean, there was that Kazuna encounter thing, that, that beta version, but never actually, uh, that didn't get released. It would have been cool. Anyway, they have a, they have a thing of all the games here, all these games we've seen already. Uh, some of these are hard to read on these blue lines. Top players golf. Riding hero. Gotta lower this a little bit. Baseball stars professional. League Bully and the Super Spy. Cyberlip, Nam 1975, Ghost Pilots, Ninja Combat. Also, again, the, uh, the Super Spy screenshots here are the... Uh, it's like a beta version where there's uh, there's ten hit points there. Ten little, little tiny yellow hit points instead of eight big yellow hit points. Real in-your-face action. Is there anything else funny here? Oh, League Bowling. Put down the hot dog and test your pin-popping skills. <laughs> That's pretty good ad copy. Uh, yeah, they're just kind of showing the game. There's more on the next page. Oop. Why did they save Magician Lord for page two? It's one of the release games. Whatever. Alpha Mission 2, Blue's Journey... King of the Monsters. Uh, oh, that burning fight picture is the, uh, the 
the uh, the beta version. Uh, that's uh, that's bully. That's not Billy. That's bully. That's the weird uh, the weird proto version of Billy. And I think uh, yes, yeah, and Goku is the uh, the prototype version too. Note the high score is uh, nine point nine million. <laughs> They called 8-Man Super 8-Man. I thought it was just called 8-Man. Apparently they added uh, Super to the title. The Evil Dr. J. Was that the plot of Robo Army? No, yeah, whatever. Real voice commentation. But yeah. And then on the next page, we got some... We got some previews of games to come. Although all these games we've we've seen already at this point in uh, in Neo Rank Masters, this Fatal Fury screenshot again. This is this is a beta version. Uh, there's supposed to be like a, a truck over here, like a couple trucks. There's nothing. This is like super fucking early. <laughs> and like I think Fatal Fury was out at this point. Like so I don't know why why they're using these weird. Uh, these weird prototype images where they don't even have a... Uh, they don't even have a real truck, they just have the wheels there. Travel to different cities... Wait, different cities? You, you, you're only in Southtown, it's all in one city. To fight the best of the best! Two player simultaneous. Uh, thrash Rally, multi-league capability. Football action like you've never seen before. Football frenzy, kind of, kind of not as good as uh, Cyberball. This soccer ball picture is a is a prototype too. What the fuck is this thing in the middle? The power meter looks all different too. What the fuck is this? Like a ref? What is this? I don't think the super shot works like that. Looks like that. Oh man, yeah, Tips and Tricks did a lot of uh, a lot of Neo Geo coverage. Oh yeah, in this last resort picture, there's the high score is just says 1800, like there's no initials. That's another early prototype. Mutation Nation, that looks like the the final version. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with this this robot thing here. That's not in the uh, the final version of Soccer Brawl. Yeah, who cares? It's only soccer brawl. <laughs> and then on the next page, we got some uh, more to come. Baseball Stars Professional 2. King of the Monsters 2. King of the Monsters 2 is going to be the definite summer blockbuster game. And Art of Fighting, you'll never play a fighting game like this. This will be the number one action fighting game of all time. Magician Lord was the, uh, the top seller. Why is this playlist all out of order? There we go. And then they've got these, uh, this info from Replay Magazine. Is the Mutation Nation health bar segmented? Wait, let me go back. Oh, you're right! You're right, the Mutation Nation health bar isn't, it, it's, it doesn't have four colors. It's supposed to be, uh, red, yellow, green, blue. For the health bar. That is a prototype version. Good eye, Barry. Good eye. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Anyway. So these were some, uh... Some stuff that, like, uh... Like, Replay Magazine would do a... Would do a poll of arcade operators, and, like, they would give their ratings on, uh... On games. And you also see, like, the distribution of, uh... How, how how frequent they were in like arcades like 90 percent of arcades at Street Fighter 2 that seems kind of kind of low this is all as of uh November 1991 but yeah obviously in November uh, Street Fighter 2 was the uh, the most popular game in the arcades of course Wrestlefest number two and everything in red yeah is a uh, it's a neo Geo game Got Super Baseball up there, and Eight Man, Cross Swords, Burning Fights, and Goku. 
Lose Journey, King of the Monsters. Ninja Combat's still hanging in there. And yeah, there's some other interesting interesting games of the time. Karate Blazers. That weird uh, that weird video system, or Mecco River. Game where they put like a million enemies on screen. Clutch Hitter, that's a baseball game. Second month of Vendetta. High Impact was in there for a while. Final Fight was had been out for like 21 months at that point and still making money. Gun Force. And then, of course, Raiden. Was it out for 15 months? Did it come out in 1990? I guess it did. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And, of course, Iron Man, Ivan Stewart's Off-Road, Track Pack. <laughs> Violence fight in the... Crack it in the top 20. Amazing. But, yeah. But obviously, like, Street Fighter 2 had the highest rating by far. <laughs> that game was just making bank. Yeah, that makes sense. Final Fight would have been... Uh, cabinets of that would have been a lot cheaper after Street Fighter 2 came out. And they got a, they got a thing on Cross Swords. They've got some... Uh, it looks like a standard, like, EGM review or something. Evil of the Man Gnosis devastated the land of Belkana. That Belkana was with a K. Each castle arose in the Krugia Mountain. Two brave knights, Edmund and Richard. I didn't even know their names. Traveling in the forest, it's best to bring a friend. Dab goblins are around every turn. <laughs> Many of your enemies reappear in stronger, faster, more intelligent versions. Buy new weapon away from Rouster. The elusive Scarecrow sword holds the mystery. But yeah, this is like a, a two-page thing on, on Cross Swords. They have like a... Uh, they have a thing on all the enemies here. Oop. Uh, there we go. Yeah, the, the Dab Goblins. Dab Goblin 2 is a faster version of Evil and Chaos. I hate chaos. The demon goat cannot be hurt while he spins. <laughs> Oops, that's my... Uh, get that out of here. Just looking for some music. I need to... Where did Ninja Combat go? Let's play some Ninja Combat jams. And then, of course, they explain the, uh, the super moves. The, uh, whoa, what does it say? The last special attack is a powerful burst of purity that comes straight from your soul. Damn, that's deep, man. This flash of goodness weakens evil creatures and in some cases destroys them entirely. But yeah, this is like, like, two pages of this is... This is just standard stuff you would probably see in an issue of EGM anyway. <laughs> This uses life points, unfortunately. All these use life points! They want you to put in lots of money. Oh, but then we got the, the Game Lord's pick of the month, which is Fatal Fury. In any sport or competitive event, being the best is the highest honor to achieve, but the road to being the best can be... FATAL! Jeff Bogart was the reputed best in street fighting and was a threat to evil men like Geese Howard. Yeah, yeah, we know all this lore. Fatal Fury King of Fighters is one-on-one -on -one competition fighting at its best. Superb graphics, fluid animation, and a Neo Geo quality soundtrack make this the greatest home game ever. This game will definitely be talked about for years, and because of the two-player competition, I don't think your friends will ever let you put this in the closet. Only games of this magnitude get dubbed the Game Lord's Pick of the Month. Uh, we got some stuff about all the... All the enemies. Raiden is as big as a tank. If he gets close, he won't last a second. Wajai is a Thai boxer with an awesome rocket kick. Hit him high. Uh, is there anything funny here? Here's your chance. Geese is waiting. Time to unleash your fatal fury. Wow, they said the thing. Oh yeah, they misspelled Thai. That's kind of funny. And then on the next page, they have some interesting move names for uh, for all the moves. See, it's not the Bird Knuckle, it's the Lightning Fist. Power Wave? Nah, it's the Napalm Punch. 
Crack shoot? Nah, splash kick. Rising tackle? Screwdriver. <laughs> oh, Andy Bogart was very young. Everybody makes that mistake, but they couldn't even do it in this official Neo Geo thing. They couldn't get the, the Bogart Bogart thing right. Also, the uh, the elbow smash is not down back up forward A, it's it's back forward A. Elbow smash works very well against many enemies who bat you away. Yeah, it works pretty well against everything. And what does it say about Joe? He knows the brother's pain, and it's their best friend is determined to put an end to the madness once and for all. Uh, is that the motion for rocket kick? I'm not even sure. Is Cyclone Punch a, a Tiger Knee motion? I don't play Joe in that game, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, again, some... They didn't have move names yet, so, you know. Cyclone Punch, Flame Kick, Rocket Kick. Fuck it, close enough. Oh, and we got some merch. We got some merchandise. It looks like it just says Ciceries. There's a t-shirt. There's two t-shirts. Official doggy seal pins. Pin them on your hat, belt, or give them to your friends. A double reinforced padded bag. Oh yeah, I'm sure people on the Neo Geo forum pay, pay lots of money for this shit now. And then there's like some, some posters here which use like uh, different art from like the box arts. That Baseball Stars art is kind of goofy, but... Like these weren't the uh, these weren't the artworks that were on the uh, the official box art or the mini marquees. These were like I guess they did these just for the posters. The Cyberlip one looks kind of funny. I like this dude blowing up right here. I guess there might have been there might have been like a there might have been a later release that like used some of this art. Like a was there a King of the Monsters one? I don't remember now. Or no, there was one that used this Ghost Pilots art, I think. Right? There was like a later... A later release of it or something? Something like that. Oh yeah, memory card. Gotta have a memory card. Yeah. <laughs> Hate this fucking ad. <laughs> ah, babies! Video games aren't kid stuff anymore. I didn't put this ad in the uh, in the pre-stream rotation because. Uh... Wait, what? If you think today's home video games are designed for the just recently potty trained pubescent, get off the couch and discover the the dat of home video entertainment, Neo Geo. What's the dat? What are you talking about? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> 15 tracks of stereo sound, including seven dedicated to real voice speech, will rock you to the bone. You can become a cunning super spy, a badass bazooka-wielding madman, a major league home run and hitting hero, or just about anything imaginable. That's that super spy prototype screenshot again, by the way. Sengoku beta version, too. And then I think, like, the last page just has, uh... It's available nationwide at Babbage's, Electronics Boutique, Software, etc. in CompUSA. In California at Macy's, Bullocks, and 2020 Video. What the fuck is Bullocks? <laughs> That's a funny name for a store. Oh, I can get it at Nobody Beats the Wiz if you're in New York. So I remember, yeah, the gold system, uh... It would come with your choice of Magician Lord, Nam 1975, or Baseball Stars Professional. I guess at some point they at some point they decided, yeah, Fatal Fury is gonna be is gonna be big, so we're gonna we're gonna add that in. Except they didn't include Fatal Fury here. Okay, let me uh let me bring up the other one. Where is it? So they put out two of these. Oops. That's the wrong thing. I gotta load everything. Okay. 
So I... The, uh... The place I got this from says this was in consecutive issues, but I thought there was, like, more... Uh... More, more time between each... Each issue. But yeah, this was another thing. You can win a Neo Geo Gold System. Real gamer reviews. Last resort maps and tips. Letters to Neo Geo. The entire 24-bit library. New titles on the way. Awesome accessories and... Where to find the damn Neo Geo? Oh, oh, we got some more, uh, some more ad copy. SNK's Neo Geo is synonymous with state-of-the-art video gaming entertainment. Behind the, all the fun is a hardware system so advanced it allows us to pioneer new frontiers in video entertainment. New frontiers capitalized for some reason. Uh... into a... Now! Neo Geo's power powers up full audio soundtracks and real voice speech. You can expect kicking music, including every instrument imaginable in each and every Neo Geo title. I think you're promising a little too much there. As for action, Neo Geo can handle 380 sprites, blah blah blah. This defines the term character POWER. With this character power, Neo Geo has a seemingly unlimited capability for gameplay. Imagine enemies, power-ups, items, and allies. Every Mega Gamer's dream come true. Man, I fucking love enemies, power-ups, items, and allies. Those are my favorite things as a Mega Gamer to, to see in a video game. The Pro Gear Spec 330 Meg maximum information capacity, over 33 times the nearest comp competitor, allows for complex play fields, intricate musical scores, previously unheard of storage potential, and detailed sprites and graphics to top it all off. The processor speed eliminates nearly all the flickering and slowdown and problems seen on other gaming systems. All this raw power is driven and directed by custom-made SNK Pro chips, only to be found on the monster of video games, the Neo Geo. They really like saying omnidirectional scrolling, don't they? Rotation, enlarging, shrinking, fade, scaling. You never... They're, they're talking about, like, you never have to buy add-ons or a monitor again for some reason. And yeah, the only memory card system available. The only one. Don't go looking for any others. Oh, here we go. Letters to Neo Geo. This is gonna be good. Oh, yeah, I think, uh... Trap, like, posted that clip of the, uh... Of that Family Matters th song. Or the song on the Family Matters episode. It's like some, some public domain thing. Or not public domain, it's off some sample C. Anyway, dear SNK Home Entertainment Incorporated, I can't compliment you enough on the great job you've done creating the best video game system I've seen yet. Obviously you've blown away the competition competing with Nintendo, Sega, and NEC. Your games look exactly like the arcade games. I can't tell the difference. Good luck in the future. <laughs> That's very, uh, very cordial. First of all, I thank you for making the best video game in home entertainment sister history, the Neo Geo. You don't know how it feels to play an action game at home that is exactly like the arcade, which makes your hair stick out, like getting electrically charged through your body and your hair gets spiked and hard like glue. <laughs> okay. That's like I, I suppose so. I also thank you for sending me the Neo Geo magazine. I was very surprised when I got it, and I could not believe my eyes when I saw the type of graphics some games had. Metin Hati Pogwu. Uh, I recently purchased a Neo Geo Gold system. I own a Genesis SNES. Any? Okay, no, you're not gonna. You're... Anybody who owns a Turbo Graphics 16 is not gonna say I own an NEC. They're gonna say I own a Turbo Graphics or I own a Turbo Graphics 16. They're not gonna say I own an NEC. I think you're full of shit, young Kim. I spend lots of money on software. The Neo Geo is far, far more greater than any other home system around. I saw your ad in my gaming magazine. My favorite game is Sengoku. Whoever designed it, I'd like to shake their hands. Really? Sengoku? My friends purchased a Genesis and a SNES and NEC, and none of them could compare with the Neo Geo. They all come over and play Sengoku. Neo Geo is awesome. I'd just like to say you guys out there are doing a heck of a job, and I'd like to see more carts like Sengoku. I don't think this is real. This can't be real. 
Uh, Dear SNK, I own the following video game systems. The NES, the Sega Master System, and the Sega Genesis, which I like very much. But as much as I like these systems, I can't tell you how much I prefer the Neo Geo! With two exclamation marks. My friend and I have played several versions of your Neo Geo Arcade, and we love them all. I think by far the best game is Magician Lord. In my opinion, Magician Lord is the most graphically realistic game I have ever played. Uh, yeah, Magician Lord is, is known for its realism. Uh, I would like to give my thanks to you for making it possible to play the Neo Geo Arcade with only one token. Well, that kind of depends on your arcade operator, right? Each time we visit the arcade, I find that most of the games that require more than one token are really not that exciting and fun than you expect from such a game. Your Neo Geo is the arcade that my friends and I put our money into most often. Your Neo Geo home system is a very powerful gaming system that every system I know pales in comparison to the advanced entertainment system. Thank you for making your games cheap, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Hey guys! I like how it starts. Hey guys. I really enjoyed your article about your Neo Geo. It really made me sit up and think. I have owned the NES and the Turbo, and I currently own the Sega Genesis Super NES. I bought the Super NES yesterday. <laughs> okay. But today, after reading your article, I realize these systems are underpowered and that you're getting less for your money. Your cost per meg comparison is really informative. I've been playing the Neo Geo for about a year now, and to tell you the truth, I always knew it was the best. Oh yeah! I played it in the arcades. I'm kicking myself for not getting the Neo. I put about $250 in the NES, about $400 into the Turbo, about $1,800 into the Genesis, and around $300 into the SNES. I knew these systems had software support, I never, but I never knew you did. Also, I'm a big football fan. I see you've got a football game coming out. I'm excited. Well, I'll stop for now. Keep the games coming and I'll have your system Christmas of 92. Keep up the great work, Ken Stover. Oh, uh, you're, you're... Ken, you, you really don't want to play Football Frenzy. Yeah, everybody knows cost per meg is the way to, to compare systems. <laughs> uh, those are some good letters. And then we have... Oh, wait. This is another issue of The Game Lord Speaks. Uh, SK Home Entertainment System has been... Setting new standards in video games since the release of the UNTOUCHABLE Neo Geo. Advanced new technology has sparked some of the greatest new software available and cannot be denied of the licensees it deserves. In the year that has passed, SNK devoted much time to 11 new third-party software companies and nearly 100 new SNK programmers. I don't think all these uh, licensees actually, like, released a game. But, you know... they. That's what they usually say in magazines, like they have all these companies like interested in, in making games, but but now the third party licensees have come of age and will be putting out tremendous titles such as Andro Dunos, Viewpoint, and Ninja Commando. Except ADK was already put, putting out games. Without the worry of assisting the third party licensees, SNK has the time and manpower to work on the long awaited high meg games. Games that not only finally tap into the power of Neo Geo, but games that will break boundaries in memory, gameplay, play fields, and depth. Playfields, huh? Games that will only be found on the only professional home system, the Neo Geo. By the fourth quarter of 1992, Neo Geo will have the software titles that reach a plateau which other video game systems can only dream of reaching. This new software is commonly coined Second Wave Software. Neo Geo Second Wave Software will have intricate gameplay and more talk about playfields, complex playfields including more character abilities than ever before seen. The new software will be in will be involved and intense, and these games will use a monumental amount of megs. High meg games are what you have all been waiting for. Meg is a measurement of information. Without it, the high-powered Neo Geo could not be fueled. You already know what's under the hood of a Neo Geo, and now SNK will show what it can do. We have the time and power to blow the doors off the other systems. Imprinted on the hood is Neo Geo, Max 330 Mega, Pro Your Spec, and an Advanced Entertainment okay. System. Let's backtrack. Advanced Entertainment System means monster video game systems. Pro Gear Spec means professional gear specification. And Max 330 Mega means capable of 330 megs maximum. And, and Neo Geo means when you want the best game system in the world. And Mono means one, and Rail means Rail. Quality is what you can expect from SNK Home Entertainment Incorporated. And yeah, this is about the time when some of these games are... We saw Ninja Commando, but Andre Dunos in Viewpoint. Coming soon. Hey, Alan, thank you for the raid. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, oh. So this is interesting. They 
They had people write game reviews for them and send them in to the Game Lord. So, uh... Let's, uh... Let's see what people, people have to say here. Uh... Yes, dear Game Lord, SNK has combined the one-on-one -on -one martial arts action of Street Fighter 2 with a down-and-nerdy street tactics of Final Fight to create a game better than either in Fatal Fury. Okay, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> I don't know about that. You can choose from three unique fighters and journey from city to city, defeating the top warriors in the world en route to Geese Howard, the king of fighters. Along the way, you'll encounter bonus stages where you arm wrestle a Hulkster for bonus points. In the two-player mode, you and a friend first take on the computer, and then each other in a fight to see who gets to continue playing. The characters are huge, and the special attacks awesome, like Burning Knuckles and the, the Hurricane Uppercut. Hey, they, they, they got closer. Burning Knuckle, that's pretty close to Burn Knuckle. Fatal Fury is head-to-head -head fighting at its best. Thank you, Matt Neopolitan. Uh, Dear Game Lord, thank you for making 2020 Super Baseball. Yeah, the Game Lord made it just for you, Steve. I have not been able to stop playing it. 2020 Super Baseball is a game sports fans have been waiting their whole lives for. The gameplay and graphics are simply incredible. The true scale and rotation in 2020 Super Baseball make Nintendo's Mode 7 look like child's play. The graphics and motion make you feel like you're at the ballpark. You know, the, the future cyber ballpark. The graphics presentation are only half the package. Baseball 2020 offers so much more than a regular baseball game. The additional landmines as the game progresses make a routine fly ball an adventure. The jump zones on the warning track give a new meaning to the term a leaping catch. Change pitchers, pinch hit, steal, bunt, construct new players, it's all here. Yeah, the Neo Geo didn't have hardware rotation. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Each player has individual ratings. You can ricochet hits off the walls and barriers, make diving catches, and listen to the incredible sound. Too bad, Nintendo and Sega. Neo Geo has proven once again that it is the real deal. Oh, a positive review of soccer... Okay, I can, I can get behind, like, a... A positive review of Fatal Fury and, and Super Baseball, but, uh... Soccer Brawl? Hmm. Looking for a game with so much heart-pounding, palm-sweating action that you just can't stop playing it? And Soccer Brawl for the Neo Geo is for you. It's a cross between indoor soccer and S Street Fighter 2? Uh, okay. Like a traditional soccer game, the objects score more goals than your opponent. Oh, that's how soccer works. Iron players make Soccer Brawl more exciting... Players can power up for a super shot, shoulder tackle and sliding tackle, so part of your defensive repertoire, blah blah blah. There are eight teams to choose from, and every team has their own power shot, a weapon of the team's headmaster, team captain. When the headmaster is power up, he can unleash a power shot that rocket towards the opposing goal, unleashing destruction on anyone that gets in its way. Soccer Brawl is a difficulty setting for any level of player, and you can play against a computer or friend when you've gained some skill. Try your luck in the seven-round tournament. Any way you play it, Soccer Brawl has the most pulse-palpitating action of any sports card to date. I don't think it's better than Super Baseball. <laughs> yeah, it's from Mike Myers. Except, uh, it's Myers with an E. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Soccer Brawl has its fans, I guess, but... Yeah, at least, at least somebody didn't have to write a writing hero review. <laughs> but yeah, like, some of this, like, they, they probably, they probably edited it. You know how it is. Oh, we got previews of stuff on the way. I don't know why this is uh, why this is slanted. Weird scan, I guess. Uh, we just saw Baseball Stars 2. Close-up fights, real voice announcing. Game of Monsters 2. The monsters have invaded, and it's too late to escape. You thought it was over, but the world's about to find out who's a real king of the monsters. Guaranteed to be the summer's blockbuster. That's the second time they've said that. Uh, Viewpoint. We haven't seen Viewpoint yet. That's going to happen on the next Neo Rank Masters. That's going to be a very divisive game, I can already tell you. Two-player simultaneous action. Andre do knows we ran out of time, but we'll cover that next time. Sengoku 2, I think, is a ways off, but... Uh, all the power of magic identities and more are yours. Oh, I'm out of music here. I'll have to go back. More to come. And then on the other page, yeah, we got another one of these, uh... Another one of these lists from Replay. This is from March 92. The last one was November 91. I think this was around the time, like, this was, like, right before Street Fighter II Champion Edition came out. So, like, regular Street Fighter II is still there. Obviously, Fatal Fury still... 
Not for two months, so I guess this was, like... It says March, but this is probably covering, like, everything up to, like, December. Maybe January 92. The Ultimo, thank you for the 100 bits. Rimrock and B-Ball. That game sucks. Why does it have such a high rating? Yeah, WrestleFest is still there. Football Frenzy in the top five for, for ratings. Uh, King of Dragons, at least that's a that's an okay game. Robo Army's... Yeah. I mean, Football Frenzy and Robo Army had only been out for a few months. That's uh, the number at the end there. Raiden's climbing up the list. Like, remember Raiden was like 15th place? Now it's up to number 8. That game had legs. That game was around for a long time. Final Fight's still there. 25 months. It's been out for two years. It's still in the top 20. 86% distribution among these arcades. Yeah, I don't really, like, fully understand the whole... The whole rating thing. Like, I guess arcade... The, the arcades that get pulled... Are... They just, like... I guess give a scale from like 1 to 10 on you know how the how the game is performing in that arcade and then like you know yeah Street Fighter 2 went from 90% distribution to 95% like you had to have a Street Fighter 2 cabinet in 1991 if you wanted to make money or I don't know some other games might make money like uh you know Rim Rock and B-Ball <laughs> yeah Pit Fighter was hmm. actually okay here's the other thing this is not uh this is not a list of, like, every arcade game. Because it says, Best Video Software. With an asterisk here. Uh, Replay would have, like, two different lists. There'd be Video Software, which was usually, like, kits. Or games that were, uh... Uh, smaller cabinets. There would also be, like, Best Dedicated Videos, which would cover, like, racing games. Uh... Uh... Flying games like uh, Afterburner 2 and stuff like that. Games that had, like, unique, dedicated cabinets. Although Cyberball had a dedicated cabinet, didn't it? Why is it in video software? I guess because it was, like, a... Was it an update? I don't know. This is all bullshit. <laughs> but Replay would usually have two lists. And because this is video software, SNK, the Neo Geo, obviously counts as software because it's stuff that you, you put into the Neo Geo cabinet, so... And yeah, again, they're saying Super 8-Man instead of regular 8-Man. I don't know why they keep doing that. Can't get their own game name right. The world of 24-bit system. This is just another thing summing up all the... All the games. Anything funny here? Uh, treacherous mountain curves and ocean straightaways. Punch, kick, and stab your way through terrorists who have taken over a high-rise and threatened to destroy your city. Real in-your-face action. They have more up-to-date up -to -date screenshots. The Super Spy screenshots look like the final version. Yeah, it's it, it's very much like EGM getting getting contracted to given a lot of assets to make this Neo Geo thing, and, yeah, they clearly... <laughs> they clearly wrote it. But also, they had to give it... They had to give everything, like, glowing reviews. Uh, hey, they got the, the Burning Fight screenshot right this time. That's actually... Well, this is all blurry, but that's definitely Billy and not Bully. Oh, there they go again with Super 8-Man! This is pissing me off now. I think these are all the same... Uh, the same descriptions. Although they added a few more games here, like Last Resort wasn't there last time, and Mutation Nation. Cross Swords, Football Frenzy. Pound for Pound, this is the biggest and baddest football of all time. Oh yeah, High Impact Football was like... Let me go back. Yeah, High Impact was still in the top ten. Like, that game... <laughs> football Frenzy is rated higher at this point, but... High Impact has, like, way more distribution. High Impact had some longevity, despite that being another, uh, another token eater. Oh, Game Spotlight. The Game Lord presents Last Resort. So we got another, uh... This clearly just looks like a, an EGM review. 
30th century, a nearly completed space colonization is being constructed. The operations go to this plan until the main computer comes alive by some alien science or mechanical magic. It takes over numerous machines to overtake the colony. Wait a minute. You pilot the awesome TZ-024 and YS-024. 024 was the NGH number, wasn't it? I see what they did there. I'm on to you, SNK. Five of the biggest and baddest war zones ever imagined. This is the last resort. Ah, they, they dropped the name. That's, uh, that's a lot of pixels. I thought they said they had, like, maps of the stages. These aren't really maps. These are just, like, uh, they kind of have some strats here. Time your shots wisely. Yeah, thanks. The level 2 boss, you stay to the far left or you will be flamed by the boss. It packs a mean flamethrower that almost reaches across the screen. It also launches deadly plasma leeches. Their level boss is so large, it doesn't fit on one screen. Attack its legs to make the vulnerable torso fall to the ground. Again, the laser turret is only weak point. Watch out for the blasts! Uh, they don't even mention the, uh, the red and blue power-ups. Or wait, did they? Let me go back. No, they didn't, uh, they didn't mention the difference between the red and the blue power-ups, like they, uh, like everybody kept asking. <laughs> uh, ooh, the Game Wars pick of the month! Baseball stars, too! It's that time of the year again! Time for the trips to the park! Time for the crowds, the hot dogs, the peanuts, the Cracker Jacks! I don't care if I ever get back! That's right, baseball season's upon us, and whether you're an armchair athlete or a diehard Diamond fan, you can't help but be impressed by baseball stars, too. The best graphic seen on a home game and real voice announcing that's heard in the original. This game has much more. The split screen is used when base runners are present. Blah, blah, blah. Every current batter has his own baseball card quality profile. Okay. The mugshot of the batter in the picture will remain on the screen during the up at bat. SN 2020 Super Baseball close up to the outstanding place can only be expected from Neo Geo. And what else would baseball be without a good pitcher batter fight? Camera will zoom in to get the best shot of the crowd pleaser. I thought they, I thought they were gonna say like, what else would baseball be without the uh, the batter beating the shit out of the pitcher? It's the first of the second wave software, and it's what you've all been waiting for. Text got all kind of warped here. Temper, temper. Oh, they have the uh, the baseball jump scare. Nice. Baseball Stars 2 will definitely be talked about for years, and with the added attraction of two-player simultaneous competition, your friends will never let you put this in the old games box. Baseball Stars 2 and Fatal Fury, they'll never be in the old games box. <laughs> they put a big close-up, a big pixely close-up of this, I love it. It's not a, it's not a very, uh, it's not a very clean screen grab, but I, uh, I respect the effort. There's only so much you could do back then. Special blue bat rocks. Anyway, here we got the uh, the accessories again. Joystick, memory card. Bigger, batter, better shirt. Another shirt. Was there an Alpha Mission 2 poster last time? I don't think there was. Can't really see it. Fifteen bucks each. To go back in time and, and get these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the fuck happened with this. I don't know if there was any... Uh, if the winners of this were ever... Uh, were ever posted. The Great Neo Geo Draw Off. Do you like to draw? Got a favorite video game character? SNK would like to see your sketches and possibly create an entire game around it. Draw a le legible sketch of a hip, cool, happening, original video game character, and you might be bringing home your very own Neo Geo Gold system. Your imagination is the limit, and remember, the bigger the batter, the better. Um... Uh... <laughs> yeah, for exposure, we'll just... We'll use your character and we'll send you a memory card. Oh, they have a they have a poll here. What video games do you currently own? 
How many games do you purchase on the average? What is your favorite type of game? Where did you learn about the Neo Geo Entertainment System? What magazine do you read for game information? What's your favorite TV show? Why? Have you ever played Neo Geo in the arcades? How much time money do you spend in the arcades per week? Do you rent video games? If yes, what store are you renting from? Will you be buying a video game system in the next year? Uh, I can barely read the official rules down here. Oh, yeah, so they could probably buy advertising. I don't think... SNK did not buy any advertising in the U.S., though. Oh, we gotta watch some, some Japanese ads of, of Neo Geo games at some point, too. That's gonna have to be a bonus thing for one of these streams. But, uh... Usually, like, EGM would, uh... Would, like, print the winners of whoever won their contests. Um... Uh... I can't recall if they ever, like... They ever posted the winner of this? Like, what character did they send in? Did did they actually make a game around that character? Probably not. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna assume no. But <laughs> and then we got this again. A choice of one of four hot games. Oh, they added some, uh, some Canada locations. Didn't they say it was on, on sale at something called, like, 2020 Video in California? It's not, it's not on sale there anymore. Alright. <laughs> yeah, they went in hard on Ontario, but... Otherwise in Canada? Eh, Compu Centers. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what Adrays is. I don't know what Bullocks is. I'm not a California native. I, I don't know of these things. Shock Troopers was the game they made out of a drawing? Oh shit, they made a game out of Jackal? Awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh... I thought that would be, uh, fun to take a look at. I think what I want to do in the, uh, I want to do in the future is, like, find more of the, uh... Uh, find more magazines that had, like, reviews of Neo Geo games. Uh, the Ultimo had posted something about, uh... Had posted an EGM review of Andro Dunos earlier. Uh... Yeah, they didn't print the ad with the, uh... If you want to play the Neo Geo, you need a set of these, and they show a picture of balls. 